Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in the previous video where I showed you how to plot on, our, on a second machine, I used some Chia command lines um, to get our, our pool key and our farmer uh, key. But um, in order to use the command line, we have to go to a certain directory within PowerShell. So in this video, I'm going to show you how, can, how you can basically create a shortcut to that directory so you can use the Chia command line as soon as you open up PowerShell and you don't have to go to that directory to use it. So if you go to the wiki um, for the Chia command line, you, you can look up where this uh, directory is. So if we scroll down to Windows, we can see that the Chia executable, um, there's actually two. One that opens up the GUI, and you actually cannot use this um, for the Chia command line. And then there's one with, that's spelled with a lowercase that lives in this location. So this is a tilde, and that basically just tells you that this is a shortened path. So it lives in your app data folder um, for the user in this file location. So let's go ahead and copy this minus the app data local. And let's go to open a PowerShell. So if we try to run the Chi command line as soon as we open up PowerShell, it actually won't work. So let's do dash H for help. You can see that it says it's not recognized. That's because the, this is not currently in the directory that we're in. So in order to use it, we have to be in that directory. So if we do cd, change directory, or change the folder that you're in, and then we can do an environmental variable, which is env colon, and then type out local, app, and then hit tab, and it'll tab complete. So this is basically um, a path to your local app data folder. And then we paste the rest of the um, path. So chia blockchain, app date, or app, um, et cetera. Then this will take us to the directory in which that Chia command lives. So if we hit the up arrow key to go to our previous commands and we run this again, well, it works because this executable is in the directory that we're in. However, it's, it'll be kind of annoying every, that you have to do that every time that um, you want to open up PowerShell. So how can we do it where we automatically open PowerShell and we can use this command? Well, you can go to advanced system settings so type so hit the Windows key and type advanced system um, system settings and then you can go to environment variables and then here you're going to want to find the um, in the system variables you're going to want to go to the path click edit and then click new and then the new you're going to want to type out the path to this so for me, it's going to be C colon, and then you're going to type out users. Then this is going to be your user uh, name. I'm going to blur, my out, blur mine out since it has my full name in it. And then um, the next is going to be app data. Sorry about that. Local. And then here, let's just go ahead and copy this again. And leave out the chia.exe. Just do the the folder that it's in, which is Damien. Let's minimize that, um, and let's paste in the rest of this. So now we click OK, click OK again, and then let's close out of this PowerShell session. Let's open up another one. So now this is a fresh PowerShell session. So we're no longer in the directory that we were in before that had the Chia command line executable in it. However, if we do chia.exe, it tabs complete and we can do dash H. And what do you know? Well, we can run Chia in any direct directory now. So if we do CD um, users, uh, you know, we go to that and we do Chia dash H. Well, we can still run it there. So this is very useful. So basically, this adds a path for your for PowerShell to automatically look for um, executables or those types of files in that path. However, um, there is another way we can do it just strictly in PowerShell. Um, so I'll show show that to you as well. So let me um, go delete the thing I added. Okay, so I deleted the path that I added in the advanced system settings. So now if I run Chia, um, like I did before, it's no longer gonna find it, as you can see. So how can we do this with a single command in PowerShell? Well, PowerShell can run a script file every time you open it, call your profile. 
So if we do a dollar sign and then type out profile and do all um, users, all hosts, this will add this, uh, the thing we're about to add for all the users. So if you're sharing this machine, I suggest not doing this one and go to um, current users, all hosts. And all, the host is, is the PowerShell that you're opening. So if you open it up, you know, ISC PowerShell will it'll include that. Um, so this is just a path to the script file. So what you can do is do add content, and this will add a string value to um, this file here. So path is gonna be there, and then value is gonna be what we're adding to it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do uh, single quotes instead of double quotes, since we're gonna be uh, putting in double quotes into the string. So let's go ahead and type in dollar sign env uh, colon and then path. So this is another environmental variable that includes all the paths that PowerShell looks for for executables. Um, do equals and then let's type out uh, this variable again. And then we're going to add something to it. So we're going to do a plus sign and then we're going to do uh, double quotes, a semicolon because um, that's how these paths are separated within this. And then we're going to type in the same path that we typed in earlier. So we're going to do env local app data. And then we're going to paste in the rest of the file path, like so. And then uh, we're going to close out those double quotes and then close out the single quotes. And then here, if we hit enter, well, it added that to it. So now if we close PowerShell, All right, and then we open PowerShell back up, and we try to use the Chia executable. Well, you can see that I can tap complete it, I can do dash H, and there it is. So that's two ways that you can make using the Chia executable a lot faster and a lot easier. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I plan on making a couple more videos uh, about Chia just to help people in the community. All right, bye.